the bride in the city. I was taken up in the spirit on the feast of St. John the Evangelist in the Christmas octave. There I saw prepared a new city of the same name as Jerusalem and of the same appearance. It was being adorned with all sorts of new ornaments that were unspeakably beautiful. They who served in the city were the most beautiful of heaven and all belonged among those called Aureolus and Eunestus. And all who had been sanctified by love, together with all the living, adorned it and evoked all the new wonders that gave rise to new admiration. And in the midst of the high city flew an eagle, crying with a loud voice, All you lords and wielders of power, here you shall learn the eternity of your domain. And he flew a second time through the city, crying, The time is at hand, all you living, find joy in her who possesses the true life. And a third time, he cried out and said, O oh, you dead, come into the light and into the life. And all you who are unready, insofar as you are not too naked to attend our marriage, come to our abundance and contemplate the bride, who by love has experienced all needs, heavenly and earthly. She is so experienced with need in the alien land that I shall now show her how she has grown in the land of darkness. And she shall be great, and she shall see her repose, and the voice of power shall be wholly hers. After this, an evangelist came and said, You are here, and you shall be shown the glory of your exile. The city you here see adorned is your free conscience. The city you here see adorned is your free conscience, and the lofty beauty that is here is your manifold virtues with full suffering, and the adornment is your fiery ardor, which remains dominant in you in spite of all disasters. Your unknown virtues with new assiduity are the manifold ornaments that adorn the city. Your blessed soul is the bride in the city. Here is that highest society which wholly lives in love and in the spirit of the highest virtue. All those whom you see here, Eunestus and Aureolus, and the whole multitude who are the highest in power, have come here to participate in your marriage. Moreover, all the living, both of heaven and earth, shall renew their life in this marriage. The dead sinners who have come without hope and are enlightened by the knowledge of your union and desire grace or entrance into purgatory, cling somewhat to virtue and are not altogether naked. If only they believe in the oneness of you both, they will find full contentment through your marriage. Then I heard a voice loudly crying, New peace be to all of you and all new joy. Behold, this is my bride, who has passed through all your honors with perfect love, and whose love is so strong that through it all attain growth. And he said, Behold, bride and mother, you, like no other, have been able to live me as God and man. What do you think they are, who are Eunestus, to all earthly repose, become? That is what you are for all of them collectively. You alone have never tasted earthly poison. You, like no other, have superhumanly suffered much among men. You shall suffer everything to the end with what I am, and we shall remain one. Now enjoy fruition of me, what I am, with the strength of your victory, and they shall live eternally contented through you. The voice embraced me with an unheard of wonder, and I swooned in it and my spirit failed me to see or hear more. And I lay in this fruition half an hour, but then the night was over, and I came back piteously lamenting my exile, as I have done all this winter, for truly the whole winter long I have been occupied with this kind of thing. I lay there a long time and possess love or revelations or anything else in particular that love gave me.